Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and this time it's some sweet recipes. Advanced Diwali wishes to everyone celebrating Diwali. Hope you all have a great time with your family this festive season. I prepared few sweets that are in fact really simple to prepare and with readily available ingredients in your house. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. So let's begin with the first recipe that's rice burfi. So for this you will have to heat a tablespoon of ghee in a pan. You will need 1 cup rice flour. Roast the rice flour in the ghee on low flame. Make sure you are roasting till the color changes to a very light brown shade and keep the flame low all time or else it can burn. Keep that aside. I am using the same pan after washing it. Heat 1 cup milk in it. Boil and then goes half cup sugar. Here again keep the flame low. After it's dissolved, add half cup freshly grated coconut or even desiccated coconut if you don't get fresh. Add some cardamom powder. Then goes in the roasted rice flour. There might be large lumps initially but keep mixing and it will break down. Add one and a half tablespoon ghee and make sure the flame is low, keep mixing. At this point when the rice flour has broken down to very small lumps like granules, add half cup milk and mix. Again goes in 1 tablespoon ghee. Add a pinch of salt and that's to balance. Mix and then keep aside. Into a saucepan, add 3 4 cup sugar and half cup water. Boil on medium flame and keep boiling until you get one string consistency. Time to pour the sugar syrup into the rice flour crumbles. Give a mix and keep back on medium flame and heat the mixture for just 2 minutes. Transfer to a tin lined with baking paper. Level it well. Spread some sliced almonds on top, leave it to cool down and keep in the refrigerator for around 1 hour. Later slice and you get this delicious soft burfi. Moving on to the next is similar to kaju katli but instead of kaju or the cashews I am using peanuts. Had some peanuts lying around for some time so took 1 cup from that and roast it on low flame for 3 to 4 minutes. Make sure you don't burn them. Just need to roast till the skin comes off. Transfer and remove the skin. Only after it completely cools down, pulse the peanuts in a mixer grinder. Don't make it to a paste that the oil oozes out and becomes peanut butter. Just pulse it few times or till it becomes a fine powder. Now prepare sugar syrup, adding half cup sugar and half cup water. Boil on low flame for 2 minutes. And then add cardamom powder and 1 teaspoon ghee. Then goes in the peanut powder. Add around 1 or 2 teaspoon of black sesame seeds. Then goes 1 to 1 and a half tablespoon grated coconut. Mix very well until you get the mixture to a dough texture. Transfer that to a butter paper.
place another butter paper on top and roll to a thickness you want the cutlet to be. I like to have thin one. Make sure the mixture is hot or at least warm. When it cools down, it becomes hard to roll, so roll it quickly. After it cools down a bit, slice to diamond or any shape of your choice. Once it's completely cooled down, serve the delicious peanut cutli. Next is another trial yet tasty one using some leftover bread. I blended the bread slices and took 3.5 cups of breadcrumbs into a bowl. To that goes in 1 cup rava or semolina. Mix and keep aside. Prepare sugar syrup by boiling 3 4th cup sugar and half cup water. On the other side, heat half to 3 4th cup ghee in a pan. Now roast the bread rava mix in it. Roast on low flame for 5 to 7 minutes until the color changes. Add cardamom powder and mix. Now add milk and mix. Then goes in sugar syrup and mix thoroughly. Transfer to a glass tray lined with baking paper. Level it well. Slice it in squares and place a raisin on top for each square. It's just for a garnish. In fact, this sweet was prepared when I had guests coming home. Sorry that I couldn't take a good photo before serving it. I sliced each square into two more as the burfi was quite big. Last and a very common recipe I guess, it's Basin Burfi and almost similar taste to Mysore Pak. For this into a bowl, add milk powder, basin or gram flour, 1 tablespoon ghee and a pinch of salt. Mix well and let the ghee get well incorporated with the basin and milk powder. In a pan, add 1 cup sugar and half cup water. Boil on medium flame till you get one string consistency. Gradually add the mixture, little at a time and keep stirring continuously. Make sure flame is really low. Now add half cup ghee and mix well. Now if you want the burfi to get a smooth texture and not like the crumbly one like how I have got, you may transfer at this point into the glass tray or else keep mixing till you get to see the airy texture in it. Transfer immediately to a grease tin and level it giving a gentle press. Make sure you slice it while still warm or else it might be difficult to cut in good shape. Let that cool down completely. Give a gentle press with a knife and it cuts easily. And there you have another tasty burfi. Do try these sweets for Diwali and I would love to hear your feedback. Even if you're not someone celebrating, do give a try and let me know if you liked it. Send me your pictures on my Instagram or email. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.